Hi, this is James. Um, I'm selling this Arpax synthesizer on eBay. Um, my eBay name is Mixotech. I'll post the link in the description. Um, I've used this in a few videos. I just want to show you basically what it can do, how it works. Uh, yeah, it's a monophonic, um, one voice, one oscillator synthesizer, two waveforms, uh, but only the one oscillator. So square, saw. A few of the pots are a bit scratchy, but I have cleaned and um, lubricated them all, so they all feel really nice. There's just a couple of them that are a little bit crackly. Um, but other than that, it's in really good condition. Um, just show you that all the triggering and re-triggering is fine, all the keys work. Okay, um, it has CV gate and trigger in and out at the back so you control other synthesizers so uh, I've got a Moog little fatty over here which I'll just switch on in a sec so and this is with a fatty so you can use that in a, in a rig with any other CV controlled uh, analog equipment which is cool um, so I just want to show you a few of the sounds right even though this is um, only got one oscillator it can sound surprisingly meaty so I'll show you what I mean And that's just with the um, square wave uh, with the envelope controlling pulse width. It's the pulse width that really makes this thing sound so good. So you can set the LFO to pulse width as well. Probably sounds better, a bit higher up. Uh, this thing can do some pretty good uh, brassy sounds with this is just with the sawtooth wave um, and the envelope control and the filter. And the modulation section is really good. Um, so the LFO can control quite a lot of stuff. Um, so you can have uh, sine LFO controlling pitch, which is great for vibrato or slightly crazier effects. Um, you can have a square LFO as well. Which is cool with this keyboard repeat function, which will just continue playing the last note that you played. Uh, it's also got sample and hold, which is cool for those cheesy, spacey sounds, if that's what you're into. Which you can also set to the filter. I'm to get this silly. Um, you can also set the envelope to control pitch. Which is pretty cool into like spacey sounds, I guess. Um, and I've already mentioned the pulse width modulation, but you can either, that only affects the square wave. Um, you can either control that by hand. It's another one of those slightly crackly pots. The LFO. Or the envelope. Um, this is really cool as well, proportional pitch control. This is sort of um, back in the days of the old uh, Moog synthesizers which had um, a pitch wheel that kind of go up like 11 semitones and then down 11 semitones which is a bit weird and not great for kind of expressive playing. Arp came along with this proportional pitch control which once you get to grips with it it's really good. The secret's sort of to roll your finger along it and then... Filter self resonates. If you 
actually good enough you can tune it to be uh, sort of like keyboard tracking. You can get some weird overtones and stuff. Of course, filter can be controlled by the LFO as well, if you like. Um, and envelope, as you'd expect. Uh, you can also put external audio through the filter, which is fun. I'll just hit play on my sampler here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I like bread. That's a noise waveform, which is cool for sort of um, analog drum sounds, actually. This thing was used quite a lot by Paddy Kingston of BBC Radiophonic Workshop, so quite a lot of 70s TV and radio effects in there. So that's the um, ARP Instruments R packs. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to send me a message. Um, I can send you some more photos. Uh, yeah, link to the item is in the description. Um, it's my first analog synth, so quite a reluctant sell, but we're, I'm moving, so I'm afraid I have to downsize. So yeah, any other questions? Just get in touch. Thanks for watching.